Aha! Hello, hello everybody. Good morning. Oh, whew. Huh. Yep, yeah, it was me. Good morning. I'm um, just eating my breakfast. Thought I'd enjoy breakfast with you. I should just stream breakfast every morning. Wouldn't that be lovely? Just breakfast with Sterling. We could just chat about current events. Ugh. Ugh, I don't want to talk about current events these days. Um, but yeah, it'd be fun. Cause, um, yeah, breakfast is like my reward for finishing my workout. Mm -hmm. While I'm doing my workout, I'm always like, oatmeal. <laughs> I can't wait for oatmeal. Sorry. I'm talking with my mouth. Wow, Nana's nonsense. Thanks for subscribing for 12 months. And good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, time for some wheat thins. Yes, you know us. We love our wheat thins. Oh, thank you. Um, Ellery, Ellery um, says they loved my collab with the Fat Rat, which was really fun. I need to post more about that. I posted about it and I did a stream with him, but I didn't post about it a ton. I bet most people don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a DJ producer. He did a really fun, like, very different Celtic style song together. It was really cool. Mmm. It's a little cold here. No. Oh, I forgot to ask about that thing yesterday when Danny was here. Um, by the way, did you know what that beeping was? What was that? You know, what was it? It was the fridge. Stop. Yeah. It sounded like it was coming from like the other end of the house. Nope, coming from right there. And oh my God. yeah, there was this beeping in my house. We couldn't figure out where it was. And so we had to have someone come out and the alarm company was like doing all this stuff to the alarm. And then finally they realized it wasn't the alarm. and realized that it was my fridge. It makes the exact same beep as your alarm. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if my, I don't think my alarm beeps. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> so, that's why we were surprised. Like, yeah. yeah. Huh. Um, what am I eating? I'm eating oatmeal, everybody. I, like, gave a really big plug for this last time. It's my favorite oatmeal. The RX. It's like the RX bars, but it's the RX oatmeal. RX AM is what they call it. It's really good. Vanilla is my favorite flavor, which is unusual. I'm usually a chocolate friend. No, the fridge was not open for weeks. <laughs> um, I think like, just the filter needed to be changed or it needed to like be reset. So, um, anyways, yeah, thank you for subscribing for 12 months. How's Luna today? Where'd she go? I don't know. Did she finally go outside? Maybe. We were trying to get her to go outside. We put a little sweater on her so she was pouting. She didn't want to move because she was in a sweater. All right. Got to get my energy up this morning. Mm. I am going to be doing my makeup today. Um, as many of you know, I recently released a makeup palette called Intentional Beauty and it's a citrine palette so it's warm tones because it's made with um, a citrine stone ground throughout the powder which citrine is a beautiful crystal and it's orange in color so it's all warm tones beautiful colors um, but it's called Intentional Beauty because it's all about making an inner intention for you when you're putting on your makeup. So it's not just about putting sparkles on and covering up your face or adding glitter or whatever and color. It's about also bringing out the you know inner beauty from within you because citrine or any stone brings out like natural attributes from us. You know, certain stones and certain crystals, they'll help us be more calm. Certain ones help us be more present or they help us set goals or they can help us manifest or
Hold on, everybody. Webcam properties. There we go. You're back. All right. There we go. Thankfully, fish is in the room. Otherwise, that would have been frozen the entire stream. I know, that was a funny spot to be frozen in. Um, okay, well, let's do this. Let's start my makeup. Um, I might try to use the monitor as my mirror. I did this the other day. It was actually quite hard. You guys saw me editing the video that I did that with. And the video turned out okay, so I, I go, also, I brought this little, like, old-fashioned mirror. <laughs> so I go to the side, then I can also use this. Oop. Got a little bit of goop. So I already put on my, let's see what I put on this morning. I put on some um, vitamin C on my face. Woohoo! Skincare professionals will be pleased. I put on some hyaluronic acid. That's good for your face. Let's see, I put on, so right now I'm just doing a little bit of contour, everybody. This is how I usually start my makeup. Mm -hmm. I usually go right above the cheekbones. Anybody else contour? Anybody else do this? I usually give a little bit down here just to kind of give some shape to my jawline. Put a little bit down here too. Shape, basically, anybody who doesn't know a lot about um, makeup, I'll tell you, contouring is interesting because it makes, um, it makes anything that is dark sink in to your face and anything that is light or highlighted with like a lighter color, it makes it like pop out. So it kind of gives you dimension to your face more so than we normally have. That's what contouring is. I'm giving your, sh you're like kind of choosing the shape you want your face to be. Oh, I need to, hold on, I need to wet my beauty blender. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of foundation. It's funny because we're going to, um, a training session later, right after this, actually. I'm going to show up to a training session. Oh, I didn't Full have glam. time this morning to do my face routine, so I'm doing it right now. Nice. <laughs> Fish is getting hers done. I'm getting mine done. Doing this with one hand here. This is good. <laughs> Trying to... <laughs> Come on out. Today, I am using Clinique Foundation. Which, it's funny, the foundation I really like is like running out. So I've had this Clinique one forever and I just don't want to waste it. So, um, but it's actually pretty good. I forgot how, oh, yeah, I got onto this new one that one that my makeup artist told me she loved. And then I got, just came back to Clinique. And I'm like, this is actually a really nice foundation. Okay, I'm going to wet my beauty blender. So I'm going to put on my Be Right Back screen. But I won't mute myself so you can hear my beautiful after these messages. We'll be right back. Ooh, pink tea mask. Those are good. Oh my gosh, yeah. My friend got me this for Christmas. And I just, I woke up this morning and I was like, I need a full facial yes. routine day. Yes. Okay, here we go. Full camera. We're back. Okay. <laughs> wow, especially since like my hair is not done or anything. Okay, then I'm gonna start to blend it, everybody, now that I've got kind of my little contour spots. I don't even bother doing my forehead anymore because I got bangs. <laughs> What's the point of that? That's why you get bangs, so you don't have to contour your forehead. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You just take a beauty blender. Beauty blenders are great. For some reason, I never used one until like the last year. Like my makeup artists have always used them. And like I've seen so many people rave about them. But for some reason, I like was not on the beauty blender train until recently. And now I'm like, oh, they're freaking awesome. I used to just blend with my hand, which works. But it's nice to have this little blender, this little spongy. It makes everything go on so evenly. And you just wet this little sponge, and then you just spongy, 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 spongy. Is that how it sounds? Let me hold on. Yeah, can you not hear it? <laughs> can no one hear that? It's going spongy, 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 spongy. 
Let me just. So yeah, like I said, this darker shade kind of makes everything dis like sink in and appear to like like kind of cave in. So it gives basically I just gave my well I'm working on it, not done yet, but I'm giving myself a like smaller jawline by doing that. And I'm making my under jaw like just kind of disappear a little bit. And I'm making the sides of my nose, um, basically I'm making the front of my nose just kind of pop, is what these lines are doing. Fascinating, huh? Fascinating! Okay. Now my nose is a little bit red, so we're gonna put on the highlight. So make sure all I did, I occasionally will like be out for a while and then all of a sudden I'll realize, oh my gosh, I didn't fully contour or I'll be like filming something. I'll be streaming and all of a sudden I'll be like, I forgot to blend that side of my face. I've done that many times. I occasionally. Oopsie. Are <laughs> and the answer is yes. yes. Yes, you should. That's like, should I tell my friend they have a booger in their nose? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, um, okay, so now I'm going to just put a little bit on my eye. You're not supposed to put, ooh, that's a little bit of a large chunk, but you're not supposed to go, they say, <laughs> the experts say you're not supposed to go all the way under your eye. You're supposed to kind of lift the corner. This is a color science product. I really love it. It's a little under eye cream. Yeah, it just kind of lifts the eye when you put these on this corner part and this corner part. Blend it out. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to put on my little paint pot. Well, we'll do that in a second. First, I'll continue. I'm going to go to my nose. I'm going to do a little highlight on my nose. Go right down the middle because we really want this to be pretty and lifted. Oh, do you have like a little spot on your face with whiskers? Oh, yeah. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. I always get a little whisker, right? Like, there's like three or four the pores worst. on yeah. my chin that produce like thicker, slightly longer hairs. Mm -hmm. Ladies, if you haven't got them yet, you will. You Actually, will. I've had this little area my whole life. I remember being a teenager and being like, ah! Oh, yeah. I used to be really self-conscious of mine. Now I'm like, oh, well, there she is. Right? Well, my old friend. <laughs> yeah. It was, I call my, um, I had a good friend in college that uh, my roommate, and she would say, oh, whiskey's back. We <laughs> called him whiskey. And she would, like, let me know she saw whiskey. <laughs> okay. There we go. So I put a little bit of highlight on my nose. Do, 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 do. It's funny, it looks like weird in the monitor. <laughs> What's wrong with my face? It's different than me. Anyways, I shall continue. Um, once I've done that, I'm gonna quickly do a little bit of powder. I'm not gonna worry about blush today because I just don't feel like it. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of blush on, but I feel like blush is tough. I never feel like I put it in the right place. So it's always either like a little too high or it's a little too low and I look like a clown. But basically I'm just right now putting a little bit of powder foundation or a little bit of powder over the areas that I just contoured to like further. The internet taught me I was supposed to put it on the upper side of my cheekbone in like a line <sighs> upwards and it just... I, That's what they say. Yeah. I've seen that so many times on TikTok and I try to put it in the exact space, but then I'm like, well, now where does my highlighter go? Yeah. That's because true. they put it right where, I mean, I know they have an answer, but I can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Oh my God, 100% notices me. How are we doing, everybody? Anyone can. Are you talking about blush? Because no, they can't. Fish and I struggle. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe everyone but Fish and I. Exactly. We are the only two people. Dang it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to clean off my brush. I'm just going to use the same one because I'm lazy and that's all I brought over here. I'm going to do just a little bit of highlight. Really light. Right there. 
where the blush is supposedly supposed to go. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. Okay. Is that a big goal? So I'm well on my way. Um, now I am going to put, I love this paint pot from MAC. It just like goes on your eyelid to basically, it's like a primer. And it makes your, um, makes your uh, eyeshadows just go on a little bit smoother. And it just kind of makes an even palette for them to go on to so they're not going on to, you know, pigmented skin. It just gives it really nice. See, this one has it, this one doesn't. Makes it look really nice and smooth. Name that tune, name that tune, anybody? Pretend like you didn't hear fish just say it. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. 100%. Oh wow, they got it. Nate the Ninja was first. Oh wait, no, Zane was first. Nate the Ninja was a close second. Okay. Wow, my face just looks tired today. You know? I feel, yeah, I feel that way. And I don't know why, there's no excuse. I've been very tired lately, and there's absolutely no reason. Like, I'm right there with you. I've been sleeping eight hours a night. I'm not stressed. Maybe it's because I thrive on stress. Maybe. Yeah. I think when you and I have like a moment, like a lull in our schedule, we just... I was like, what do I do? What do we do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like doing stuff, I'm, but I'm not stressed about it. <laughs> so I can keep myself busy. The last week has been, been bad. I have no yeah, I've been energy. really tired. Okay, danger zone. I like to put my... Um, eyeliner on before my eyeshadow because way too many times I mess up and I don't want to have to take off on my eyeshadow. I'd rather do it first then put on the eyeshadow and then I will like highlight it a little bit. You know, like I'll go over it a little bit if it gets... This is the danger zone, especially when people are watching. It's that's like, fair. That's fair. Yeah. I struggle enough when I'm doing it by myself. <laughs> All right, here I go. I'm going in for the kill. Going in for the kill. Doing it for the thrill. Do you remember that song? I don't. Wow. Is it a country song? No. It was... Ooh. Anybody remember that song and who it was? Please tell me who it was. Going in for the kill. Doing it for the thrill. Hmm. I'm doing good today, Dwayne. Modern Talking Cherry Lady. Is that it? Look, yes, LaRue, LaRue. Oh, okay. That's who it is. I was like, that doesn't sound familiar to me, but it's LaRue for sure. Thank you, um, The One Spoon. And uh, I am Flopcorn. Hey, hey, Flopcorn. Okay, so the best way to do eyeliner for me is I have hooded eyes. So here, oh, sorry, I'm gonna cover this. I have hooded eyes. And hooded eyes, it's really hard to do a wing. But I literally like doing a wing, so I'm not going to let my hooded eyes take that away from me, you see. Um, hooded eyes just means that there's a little crease that happens here at the corner of your eye. Instead of it being like this where there's no crease, you know, there's a little crease that hoods the whole eye. So it's hard to do a wing because it gets cut in half by the crease. So anyways, but I don't want this stop me because I really like the wing look. So basically, you follow the like line of your lower eyelid and you just go straight out from there. That's how I do it. There's the beginning of my wing right there. Just that little dot. I know where I'm supposed to go now. Like deep breath. Oh, I don't like that you guys are watching. <laughs> Is that a good line? That's a nice line. I like it because it kind of lifts the eye up a little bit. Um, and then we're just going to now connect. You have to do it, especially if you have hooded eyes, you have to do it with your eye opened. And then you can close it to connect and go through the spot that was creased. 
but if you do it with your eye closed, then when you open your eye, the shape's gonna be pretty wonky. So, but that's good. It's like, hey, I'd rather try to make a straight line with my eye open than my eye closed. But a lot of people think they need to close their eye to do it. No. Then you just go along the line of the lashy lash. Yeah, that's a good one. Look at that. Ha! <laughs> this is the trouble eye. This is the one that usually gives me a hard time. A little bit harder to see because I'm right-handed. Well, but it's turned out good, I think. The nice thing is I always start small because you can always build on it. You know, you can always thicken that sucker up. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I'm really going slow and being careful today. I think I might need a new one of these too. It's getting a little dry. Oh no, I need to hit Sephora. Spent about $200 on a tiny, tiny bag. <laughs> you want to do that later? Good time. Sure, we could do it after. Some makeup shopping. Woo -woo. This is my favorite. This is Stilla. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I like Stilla. This one's from Benefit Com um, Cosmetics. So those are my two favorites. Benefit Cosmetics and Stilla are the best, like, pen eyeliner, in my humble opinion. But when they get a little bit dry, they get very difficult. Okay, we're doing alright. Size not as good, but it's okay. Like I said, usually I'm not this slow. I'm just trying to be so careful, because you're all here. Alright. Not super proud of that, but like I said, I think my pen is dry. Oh, and then you have to make sure you don't get any on your fingers and then touch your face. That's frustrating. And you're like, oh, great, I just spread a bunch of crap across my freshly foundationed face. I'm struggling a little bit with this guy, so I'm just going in for some detail. Oh, this pen is definitely dry. Okay, giving up here. All right, well, that ended up a little bit thicker than bigger than I wanted. But like I said, it's like you just kind of keep, I keep just adding to it if it's not straight. And so, you got little wings like that. Then it looks a lot better once you take your eyeshadow. This is why I love eyeshadow. I apologize for talking with my mouth full of food. Now I'm gonna take my pretty, pretty Intentional Beauty palette. Love it so much. I use this, I mean, I've only used this eyeshadow for the last, like, six months. Because I just, you know, one, first I just wanted to test it out and make sure I really liked it. And then after that, when I was going on tour, I always try to just bring one makeup palette on tour because... You know, I don't want the biggest makeup bag in the world. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this little um, cream color right here, and I'm just giving a nice base to like, oh, I love this color. It's very subtle, but that's what you want in your makeup. You don't, like, especially if it's just an everyday look, you don't want to be like, boom. So I like this. Ooh, I got to pluck these eyebrows. Woof. This is a problem about being a girl. You see yourself at <clears throat> like this close. So guys always wonder why we pick ourselves apart because we stare at ourselves for so long and you're like, oh, look at that eyebrow. Oh, wow. You know, my jowls are showing up. Oh my gosh, my... Anyways, all those kind of things happen. Because you're just staring at such close proximity. I know you're all going to say, Lindsay, you're beautiful. No, I'm not saying I'm not beautiful. I know I'm beautiful. <laughs> we are all beautiful. Um, but yeah, I love this makeup palette so much. I love that it, like I said, has an intention to it. Okay, now I'm going to come in... I'm going to make, I'm going to follow just above the crease and make a little arch. Can you see that? So, yeah, 
you want it to be the I like it to be the darkest down here and I even put a little bit on the actual lid and then I lift it up and I kind of make a little rainbow that goes it's like it's going higher and higher as it goes to the inside of the eye. Hi Laurel! And we're gonna go to the other eye and I'm just using this like light cream because right now I'm just doing a basic like everyday look um like a light look then we're gonna come here to the corner pat it onto the corner and then just kind of smooth it and lift it up And that effect will make your eyes look more open when you kind of like, like if you leave this part of the eye um, light, it opens your eye. If you do like a smoky eye, it looks really cool, but that's like more of an intense, it'll like elongate your eye, but it's not going to open your eye. <laughs> Laura, can you please? Sorry. <laughs> Have a good day. Are you out? Yeah. Bye guys. So already, this is a nice look. I, I could easily just put on my mascara and call this a day, you know? This is a good, like, basic look. Also, it's kind of nice if you want to take, I personally like to take this little shimmery one and put just a little bit under the eye because I'm not a big fan of putting, personally, I don't love putting um, eyeliner under the eye, but I like to take a little bit of this shimmery color right here and just add a little under my eye. Oh. Anyways, and I'm just going to now keep building on it. So first I'm going to do my mascara. So you can kind of see. This is the best mascara, by the way. Benefit as well. It's called Bad Girl Bang. No, Bad Gal Bang. No, seriously though. Great mascara. Um, you don't have to curl your lashes. I used to curl my lashes, but you don't have to if you use this stuff. I'm going in for a kiss. Sorry. I like to curl on, I like to put a little bit of mascara on top of the lash and kind of curl it up like so. And then I come underneath and I'd like push it up, push it up. You might be patient with it. Because you're trying to train it for the day to go up on its own. There we go. And boom! Boom! Uh-huh. There we go. Get them little lower spideys. There we go, there's one. Um, I'm also a big fan of false lashes. I think they're super fun. Okay, let's do the other eye. Oh, people are saying they're really excited for the Pentatonics collab, yes. Over the River with Pentatonix. They just announced uh, that, I think, yesterday. Saw a lot of y'all tagging me in that post, so that was cool. I'm excited. We um, had a really fun time recording it. Went in the studio with Kevin and Scott, and we just had a grand old time. Um, wouldn't it be fun to do a co-headline Christmas tour with them? Oh my gosh, yeah. So much fun. That'd be, that'd be insane. We would get to do some really fun stuff. Also, um, it would be really funny. We were joking about it, me and uh, Kevin. Because we're like, my set would be almost all instrumental. And their set would be almost all acapella. <laughs> so it'd be like you have an instrumental artist with only instruments. And then you have a group with only voices and no instruments. So it'd be, uh, it's funny, it's like quite the opposite, yet I know we have a huge overlap. Huge overlap in fans. So I feel like we, if we did a co-headline Christmas tour, it would be so fun. So just putting that out into the universe as a potential thought. I mean, a co-headline with them, period, would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. okay. For anything at any time, I feel like that would be such a great 
combination of people. Uh huh. Okay. Whew. There we go. So there's um. This is just a subtle look. Oh, I gotta do my um. The looks not complete until you do your brows. Oh, I'm. This is. I'm almost out of two. Look. It won't raise up anymore. There might just be enough left to do my brows today. <laughs> brows are very important these days. Lindsay, when you were young, or Fish, when yeah. you were young, in like middle school, did you pluck your brows? You know what? I didn't. <gasps> I had big, Smart. bushy. Well, I didn't, I didn't know how to do brows until like 30 years old. Yeah. And then I started plucking, and now I'm trying to let them grow back in so I can reshape them. I don't know anything about brows. Still, to this day, I'm clueless on brows. Oh, well, your brows look fine. Oh, thanks. Like, you, we all wanted the big... Well, it's funny, because I remember when we were young, it was in to have these, like, skinny, oh, yeah. skinny little brows. Like no, I had the nastiest, just, like... I didn't even know how to take of my brows so I just had like wild I, you should see photos of me from the wild <laughs> a teeny, teeny tiny teenager oh that's amazing I was a late bloomer for sure and me taking care of myself yeah. well but most of us were yeah like I think so. what made girls popular in our day was if they knew how to do their makeup at all because most of us had no clue yeah. and so you were hot if you knew yeah, even the yeah. simplest thing of makeup because most of us were clueless yeah. um so yeah it wasn't like today where it's like every girl can turn on tiktok and learn all about makeup or youtube and watch tutorials yeah. it was like we literally were just like going to walmart and buying what we thought was good and it was always the wrong thing very, very true. No one was telling us what good product to buy. We just go and look at that aisle and guess and like buy a couple things. Um, and then let it sit in a cabinet for years and years and years. Yeah, because you try and be like, I don't know how to do this. All right. Sorry, this is a combination of breakfast and makeup. <laughs> I'm going to put on a little bit of lip because lip changes everything. And of course, we all know we slightly overline. Make those lips look nice and juicy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Now we're going to blend it with some color. This is my go-to favorite lip color. Guys, I don't... What is the color? It's the YSL brand. Gosh, the color has completely, like, rubbed off because I've used it so much. Anyways, just this, like, kind of neutral pink. Ooh! My favorite. I wear it every day. Every show. Okay, so this is a simple look that you could do. Um, now I'm gonna, oh wow, I've got these little zitters that are showing up. That's right, I'm having a breakout day. Sweet. It's fine, you know it's funny, it doesn't even bother me. Yeah. I'm like, whatever, like, I, it bothers me when they're bad. This to me is like, I mean, I've experienced acne, so this is like, oh, we got a little blemish or two. Big deal. I really don't care. Um, I hate it when they like mess up your face though. <laughs> like when it's so big, it's like raising your lip or it's like giving your profile a different look. <laughs> like there's this little zits and anyway, so if you're, you know, having a hard time with acne, don't worry. I, I hear you. Um, been there, done that, still experience it sometimes. It's so lame. Um, okay. So I'm going to now add to this. So I um, gave you just a really simple look. This is what you could do on just like an everyday. If you're just going out with a, you know, and you just want to look a little, little special. I like using just these two colors. 
Then I love, this is my favorite color. And usually I use this just on like a simple look too. I use my finger and this is all really creamy makeup, I will say. It goes on so smooth, but I love taking this one and just putting it on the inner corner of my eye just to give this, oh, isn't that so beautiful? And then if you put it right here to lift your eye a little bit, go right above the crease a little bit higher because my crease is pretty deep oh suddenly it just gives a little bit of bing, a little bit of pixie and it's such a gorgeous shade so that's a way to just lift it a little bit I'm gonna do it on the other eye so now we're getting into the colors because I wanted this to be a palette that would be good for every day so like you can go out and but I also wanted it to be something that can then become really like a night look or a stage look and so um anyway still this is just a nice makeup look it's like subtle it doesn't look like you're trying too hard which is what we ladies always want to do you can even add a little bit of this on the under keep yourself just a little shimmer Feeling lovely. Now, ooh, this has some crazy. Oh, the other day I went out as a peacock, so I did use some blues. And um, I'm like seeing blue and green in my makeup brush. I'm like, no, I never wear blue. So that was. Not for Halloween. No. no. Just because. Just because. Actually, I thought to myself, Wow, fans are going to love this because I used to do my hair in the peacock style, as many of you know. And so I did my hair in like some sort of a peacock style and went out on the town. Okay, another color I really get excited about using in this palette is this bright red. It's so beautiful and it's really a fun color. So I'm going to take my like smaller brush and I'm going to put it just like little pops of it. Look how pretty that color is. I'm gonna go along the line of my, and I'm gonna just slightly blend it up. So that kind of, woo! And I'm gonna take my blending brush, and let me make sure there's no blue on that, and blend it up. Oh gosh, that is so pretty. So this starts to like elevate the makeup a little bit if you wanted it to be a little more bold. Which, hey, some people like bold for every day. Some people like bold for night. Yeah, I'm just going to bring it in. And you can do it as light. Like, you can literally just do, like, a pop in the corner if you want. Or right now, I'm, bring, I'm really bringing it up. You know, honestly, I don't... Like, I am a working woman. I am a crew person who doesn't have time to put on makeup in the morning. And what I do when I have five minutes to put on makeup is I take that red... I just very gently line the corner of my eye with it and then put on some mascara and I go about my day. Yeah. I feel so beautiful. It looks so good. Yeah. I've seen you do it. Is that what you did for the 21 pilot? I mean, that was a little extra. Like that was, I put on extra for I was the like, pilot show. But you yeah. look so good. Yeah. You did your little white dot in the corner yeah. and your... Yeah, which is just eyeliner. I mean, it takes me five minutes. So honestly, I don't wear makeup and I use this palette every day now. And it makes me feel so pretty. I love it so much. Yay! Yeah. That makes me so happy. <laughs> just that teeny tiny touch of color in the corner of my eye. Right, just a little bit of like, a little bit goes a long way. It does, it really does. I feel like I could make this thing last for like an entire year. Oh yeah, this is a, this will last you a long time. Um, so one eye, I went, I brought the bright pink red like all the way in. And then this eye, I just left it in the corner. So you can, you know, Try it out, you can do it however you want. So I'm gonna now just match my eyes though because this one's just like a subtle in the corner and this one's all the way across. So just showing you different looks. So now I'm gonna bring it in. Okay. And it's good to have good brushes. Um, that's important. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, it's really hard to spread makeup well when you don't have good brushes. All right. Um, oh, let me add a little bit to the under part of this eye. 
Okay. So now if we still want to go for it, um, also there's like a cooler tone direction. There's also sparkles. This is so pretty. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use this today, but this is gorgeous. Like, can you see? Oh, I don't know if you can see. I can't get the angle right for the light. It's not showing up as sparkly on the camera for some reason, but it's super shimmery. It's not showing. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, the shimmery ones, they're oh, one. super pretty. Um, yes, and you can just add that on top of your, like if you, it's actually pretty light. If you just put it by itself, it's a light shimmer, or, or pigment-wise, it's light. The shimmer is strong. So you can put the shimmer then on top of a pigment and it will just like really make your eyes sparkle if you want that sparkly look. Almost looks like if you really take it on, it almost looks like metallic in a way. Ooh, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, now I'm just gonna show you can blend it more if you wanted to. I'm going to take this little guy, I'm going to take this like creamy color and I'm going to slightly, I'm going to blend it in so that it's not such a strong line. Let's see, soften that line a little bit. There we go. It's hard to like look in the look in the camera and try to look at the monitor to see what I actually look like. Let's do this. Okay. I was thinking about that this morning as I set up the screen, so I was like, I wonder if this is gonna throw her off at all. Quietly, but I got this. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Okay, so if you want to add even more to like make the eye pop, also we can cool it down. Let's use some of these um, this brown right here. And even a little bit of the black. I feel like every palette should have a black in it, like a good black, because oh, yeah. they just allow you to, like, it's, it's so versatile. You have to have a black and a good brown in every palette. That's why I like this. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of the black and the brown to cool this down now. So if I wanted a cooler look and not so, like, this is very, I use the warmest two colors of the palette. So now let's cool her down. Let's go in. So let's see, look, that's a, I just mixed in a nice brown. Going into the corner with this brown guy. Gonna pull it up right above. This is very dark. It does not have to be this dark. The only reason it's so dark is because I'm just adding on top of each other. So now I've just like cooled it down slightly. And we can even go in and we can use this like cool shimmer. There's a warm shimmer and a cool shimmer. I'm gonna use the cool shimmer. I'm going to go in and just go over it. So there we go. This eye is now a cooler tone. I don't know if you can tell as much because the... Tell me if you can tell. Can you tell that one eye is cooler and one eye is warmer? Can you tell, Lindsay? Let me see. Oh yeah, I totally can. Okay, because on this monitor I'm like, I can't tell. No, I totally can. Okay, I'm gonna also go in, I'm just gonna continue to cool it down because there's also this pretty shade of shimmer that will definitely give it a cooler tone. So it's really fun. I just loved that it was a versatile palette where all the colors blend together super well. Um, Wonder if I should take off the makeup and do a new look with the cooler colors rather than doing like this super harsh cool color look. Is it easy to do that? I could probably decently without like taking off. Or maybe we'll just keep going with this. I'll try to match the eyes now. Oh yeah, this cool color is really pretty. It's funny, usually I go for the warms. I just like warm tones, but um, we doing this thing, this tutorial, and then doing the, um, filming the, the other day, we both were like, oh, I like the cool look, almost better. Yeah, 
Meredith Morgan in the chat says she has Harry Potter wand brushes. Oh, so fun. Love that. So fun. I, I love that. I'm into it. Okay. I think uh, that's as far as I can go. I've, I've pretty much taken her this far. This is as dark as my, this is darker than my makeup ever gets, by the way. Just because I layered so much. Normally, I'm a light makeup gal. Like, even on stage, I don't think I wear this much makeup. No. No, your makeup on stage stays so well. Oh, th yes, it Sometimes does. Sometimes you go to dab your face, and I'm like, ah! And then you pull the towel away, and it's flawless. <laughs> How do we do it? Ha 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 Incredible. I always expect the worst and get the best. Yay. Okay, I think I'm going to, um, oh, someone said I'm a handsome young woman. <laughs> um, so I guess now I'm like, what do I do? Should I take off? Because this is really dark. I also don't want to wear this to aerial practice. Um, <laughs> I am going to, I'm going to dab this down a little bit and then I can maybe just do a subtle look. Yeah, I think okay. that's a good idea. Um, hold please. Be right back. Okay, so I just took off the eye makeup, and now I'm just going to do a nice subtle look with the cool tones, so that we're not just like, BAM! Starting back with my little paint pot. My little paint pot. Love this little guy. I tried my best not to destroy the, um, <laughs> the wing eyeliner. I think I did okay. Close enough, close enough. Also, 
If all else fails, guys, with your eyeliner, put on a lash. It kind of solves everything. <laughs> put on a thick lash, and it kind of just will mask a, you know, a mediocre wing. It'll make it look okay. You can't say the bad wing, but a mediocre one will definitely be solved with a large or, you know, a nice lash. Okay. Now, we've got a sniffles. So, anyone, let me just check in real quick and see how you guys are doing. Thanks, Sam, for coming. You said you're excited to finally catch a stream again. Uh, thanks for being here, everybody. Yeah, join our official Discord by typing exclamation Discord into the chat. Um, and it'll allow you to be a part of our community there. We're going to be giving away tickets to shows and meet and greets very soon. We're just working out the kinks to make sure we can do that. But I love our Discord family. You guys make it such a healthy and happy place. Um, I love just seeing the community thrive there. And it's like your guys' place. I just, I get to like visit, but it's, I love that it's a community run by you guys. Um, and uh, so yeah, join our Discord. Also, you can type exclamation tour into the chat to get tickets and see the dates for our upcoming Christmas tour, which I'm so excited we're going on. Um, oh, Sad Trophic says, you've got front row in Iowa. You can't wait. That's amazing. Um, I, I tell you, you have a big job being front row. Sad Trophics, if you're in the front row, you got to smile at us. You got to let us know that you're having a great time. <laughs> you got to laugh. It's a funny when, I'm, when I'm trying to be funny, emphasis on trying, I need you to laugh. Uh, but I will say that there are, there are certain people every night that we as performers will find in the crowd, and that becomes your safe space. And I mean that. It's like if you make eye contact or you see someone who's giving you this positive energy, because I notice sometimes I'll be sitting at a show and I'm like, I'm enjoying the show, but I look like this. And so as the, I'm like, not, I'm not the performer's safe space. They're going to look more at the person several people away, the person that's like, Like, they're gonna look at that person because there are certain shows when I'm like that because I you know I'm more into the artist or I just you know am more fanatical about the artist um, so anyways just saying if you want to be one of those people that is our safe space you got and especially if you're in that front row you got to give us that energy and even backstage sometimes like well we're costume changing or running around um, oh, mid show we will point out, we'll be like, did you see the couple on stage left? They are so cute. Or did you see the little girl two rows back? Yeah. You know, and we'll like let each other know that there's did you like, the hot dog in the crowd? did you see the hot dog? I mean, how could you miss? But he, he was actually probably like 10 rows back, but we did not miss the hot dog. We were all talking about it backstage. Okay, here we go. Doing some, um, oh, I gotta get all these warm tones out of here. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so we're gonna do a cooler tone one. I think I'm gonna start with just. I'm gonna start by taking my. I've actually never done this look before, so we'll see. Um, I'm gonna blend a little bit of this brown with a little bit of this cream. We'll see how that starts it. This brush too big. This brush is too big. A huh. little bit of brown, a little bit of cream, a little bit of brown, a little bit of cream. There we go. Okay, it's a little darker than I intended. Maybe we'll do something different on the other eye because this is already, I think I still have some of the previous color. <laughs> ah! Okay, on the other side, I'm going to blend this really light. I'm going to blend these two together. There we go. That's more what I was looking for. I was looking for that. This one's pretty too. It's just a little darker than I wanted. But that's okay. I just really like this subtle. So blending this color and this color gave me this really nice. Then if I want to be a little bit more matte, I can put this over it. 
but the shimmer still comes through real nice. Ooh, I love that. This is a really, I don't know if you can see it as well, but yeah, that's a gorgeous color. So this one mixed with that. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Look how pretty that is, how pigmented it is. It's the, um, the light, light purple shimmer. Then, eye booger, get out of here. <laughs> there we go. Now we got a light shimmer along the base. And so, yeah, that's just a really subtle, pretty, I love that. Like I said, I like that more than this look over here. So I'm just going to try, get off there. I don't want to put a bunch of makeup remover on my face again. Not that it matters. I just don't want to. Yeah, so we're just gonna mat that down a little bit. I'm just gonna try to match it as best I can. And there we go, it's pretty. Since this side's a little darker, I'm you know it makes me sad, I'm gonna have to match it by darkening up the other side just a touch, because like I said, I don't wanna Makeup remover on again. Pretty, pretty. I'm gonna just put a tiny bit of, yeah, they are a little different. Tiny bit of this. Yeah, a little bit of that brown in the corner. There you go. Um. I'm gonna put a little bit of this under the eye since I wiped it off. By the way, guys, I am a novice in makeup. I have fun with it, and I do it for my, all my stage looks, but I in no way, shape, or form pretend to be a professional makeup artist. That's why in designing a palette, I felt like I could design a palette for the everyday person because I needed colors that all blended together really well. You know, I needed colors that were easy to apply. I needed, you know, so I made a look that was for every day. You know, I made a palette that could work for people that aren't great at makeup and still make really pretty looks. So anyways. I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna blend it out just a touch. Pretty, pretty, da, 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 da. Okay, here we go, there's my cooler. My cooler, nice oh, that. look. That's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this is fun because there's um, there's a lot of versatility, but again, you can just also blend them all. They all blend together. Um, another audio room soon. Um, no, actually, I'm done with the audio rooms. That was actually a project that was um, Facebook driven, and they were having people do these audio rooms that like they helped us set up. I guess um, you know. So I don't. Maybe I'll do one on my own, but. I was doing them as a partnership with Facebook and sadly it's over and I told them please like have me come back I would love to do more um oh dear is my audio cutting out a lot let me know if that's okay let me know if that's a problem for anybody else after this stream Lindsay will need a hose to wash all that makeup off <laughs> you know what some days we do some days we do not today though this is actually not too caked on this is a average makeup look for me so just a little bit of that uh, oil, a little bit of face facial oil, a little bit of that pond cream. Love it. Um, so yes, looks really nice. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, if you want, uh, let me just remind you guys, uh, tour tickets, you can type exclamation tour to see the Christmas show. Um, would you ever duet with a fan? Could that be like a challenge winner prize? What do you mean by duet? Like on TikTok? I duet people. Like, um, 
Like sometimes I do it. Uh, I've actually duetted a fan without knowing I was duetting a fan. No, and I've done it before when I did know. Like I, I find people who use my sound on TikTok, and I've duetted them a couple times. Like last year at Christmas, I did that to a couple people. Um, like this girl that did this beautiful pole dance routine to one of my Christmas songs. Or um, there's a girl who does like Celtic singing on TikTok. And I duetted her and played along with her and then later found out that she was like a huge fan, which was like really crazy because I just duetted her because I liked what she did. Um, so yes, I do duets. Yes, I think it was Melinda. Um... All right, well, I think I might just bust out my violin and just play a little bit of violining for you. Oh, also, my hair is a, my hair is an unkept mess, but I kind of, you know. That's what she is, and I've accepted that long ago, that that's okay. I kind of like my lion's mane. Um, also, if you guys want to check out the Bella Pierre Intentional Beauty, you can type exclamation Bella in the comments, in the chat, excuse me, I need to use my correct terminology. <laughs> But um, yeah, that will take you to where you can see and possibly get this palette. It's a great gift because it's also thoughtful, letting someone know that um, you want them to bring out what's the most beautiful in them, which is inside. Um, so you can hit exclamation palette to check that out. Um, so I'm just going to play a few songs here. We're probably going to make this a shorter stream today. Yeah. Um, We've got so, about 30 minutes. Oh, yeah? Um, I'm just going to make sure your sound is good as you do this. Oh, okay. Because we changed some stuff. Whew, it's cold over here. I know, <laughs> it's really cold over here. Okay. you're ready if you just want to hit a few notes I can make sure all of our filters are correct okay
Who was it? Anth- Anti- Antihero. Antihero God is uh, the one that suggested that while I was playing um, Hallelujah. Oh. They said, turn it into Lord of the Rings. And so as I was ending it, I'm like, could I do that? And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's in the same key. I was like, I think I could. <laughs> and it was close enough. So, good idea. Yeah, just and that's proof that while I'm playing, I am reading your comments. That's why sometimes I'll randomly like giggle or smile, and that's also why I also look so concentrated when I'm playing because I'm reading. <laughs> uh, um, alrighty, alrighty, all right. Take flight. I've seen rec- uh, recommended by Meredith. So this is for you, Meredith Morgan. Um, there we go. The song is about hope, so if anyone needs a little extra hope right now, or if anyone just feels like they're going through a really unsure time, that's what this song is written about. I wanted it to feel like it was that moment where you're like walking in the dark and you don't know where you're going in life, metaphorically. Um, But then there becomes a point where you see a light at the end of the tunnel all of a sudden, and that's like just this little tiny glimmer of hope. You don't even know 100% where you're going yet, but you see a light. However, I really believe that a lot of times we have to take several steps or a lot of steps into the darkness sometimes. We have to wander not knowing where we're going before you see that light. So that's what Take Flight is written about. And so Alicia, you say you definitely need some hope in life right now. So this is for you. Um, This is for anybody that needs a little hope. Because I know (laughs) we probably all do in some way, shape, or form.
comments as I was playing. Uh, sorry, I got slightly distracted several times, but, um, you know, I just appreciate all of you guys sharing some really like tender things of what you guys are going through. And, um, I just want to say like, I relate to some of them and some of them I've like never experienced anything like that. And, you know, but one thing that Fish and I were just talking about the other day was that like empathy is not shared experience it's shared emotion and so it's like sorry i'm getting like really emotional as i talk about it but just seeing all the things you guys are going through oh, and i just did my makeup um but seeing all the things you guys are going through i just want to say like i i'm here for you and i feel you <laughs> even though like i said some of you guys i, I can't and different hardships and it's all hard um, but what brings hope is like that we all share that same emotion we all are connected by the feeling of even feeling alone sometimes that's I think the most universal feeling in the world isn't isn't that interesting that the very feeling that makes us feel like we're so alone is the most common feeling I think that's ever been felt and so no one actually is ever alone because we've all felt that and so through all your pain or whatever it is that you're going through, just know that like, um, we're all here for you, you know, and I'm here for you. I'll keep you guys in my prayers. And, um, anyways, uh, so that song was for all of you who maybe need a little bit of hope. Um, okay. Let's see, I'm gonna play uh, Between Twilight. Someone um, asked for that. Oh, the camera froze again. Oh no. Oh, and it looks like I'm flipping off everybody. Oh no. I'm wiping my tears, but it just so happens that my middle finger is wiping the tears. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I wonder why that's happening. Uh, I do not have a, an answer for that. That's okay. We'll just fix it. Okay. Properties. Luckily, the mic didn't freeze. Yeah. That's what matters. There we go. Alrighty, we're back. We're back. <laughs> I mean, random middle fingers are funny sometimes. 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 <laughs> um. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna play between Twilight a little bit. <laughs>
past like two minutes. It's like in my nose. I apologize. Oh, let's get in there. Oh, dang. Woo, it was killing me. I've had that happen during shows before. Like, and it always seems to happen in the acoustic set when it's like quiet and I can't like, like there, no one will be distracted by anything. So it's like, I've just got to make it through the song. I'm just like, oh. Um, okay. Anyways, I think I might, um, have to say au revoir to you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a part. And, um, yeah, just want to say I love you guys. I appreciate you. And, um, I guess also, um, we sold out of the violins. I was so excited to announce that. And I definitely gave you guys a heads up, told you here first and on discord. It's one of the perks of being on the discord and on the Twitch streams is you get to kind of hear little uh, lead-ins and little hints and sneaks of the future. But um, yeah, we will be making more. So if you want to sign up for the pre-order, I have a feeling that the next batch might be sold out before we even put them up. I'm not sure yet, but I just know that seeing as the violin sold out within a day. So if you guys want, you can type exclamation Yamaha into the chat and right, that's it. Uh, exclamation Yamaha. And then you can um, sign up for the pre-order for the next round of violins. So if you want to do that, also exclamation tour will take you to tour dates, exclamation Bella will let you see the beautiful makeup palette if you want to order it for yourself or for a, um, you know, a gift for someone. Also Tribal Sam, thank you for gifting subs. That is so kind of you. I saw a couple people subscribed with Prime. Don't forget that you get to subscribe to one channel or yeah, one Twitch stream for free with Prime. Um, and then finally, don't forget that all the money that uh, we make here through Twitch, all of the money that you either donate or that comes from your subscription, it all goes to the Upside Fund, which is my, um, my charity where I give back to fans and um, especially, you know, help people pay their medical bills. We're going to be doing a huge giving this Christmas, so stay tuned for that. Um, you can go and you can apply for you know, to be part of this giving at the Upside Fund. Ugh, I need to figure out what that website is. Anyways, there is, is it the upsidefund.com? I have a, hold on, let me I can't remember. Exclamation mark upside, there you go. Exclamation mark upside will take you to the Upside Fund where you okay. can um, either go to request funds or you can go there to give if you feel like you can give. Also, all the proceeds or all the profits from this line of intentional beauty all of that goes to the Upside Fund as well. So anyways, um, by being a part of this community, you guys are hoping to make a change. Someone's asking what model is Excalibur? Excalibur is not a model, unfortunately. This one can't be remade. Um, it was made by a German violin maker. It's a Roth violin and um, you know, he passed away 50 years ago or something. So, um, so yeah, this is uh, over 100 years old. But, um, yeah, so this is a one of a kind, but the thing about violins that makes them cool is they're all one of a kind because they're all made by a human, which makes them so special. You know, a human touch had to be put on each violin. Um. I love you all so much. Sorry about that, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye.